When you think of school buses, you probably think of transportation. But Sylvania schools had something else in mind for an old bus of theirs in 1998. WTOL 11 reporter Todd Mee takes us there for more. The AA space. The 1983 All-American Bluebird School Bus. Practically extinct in most areas. But here in Sylvania, this dinosaur of a bus is filled with technology. They've taken out the seats and windows and replaced them with keyboards and monitors. 32 computers in all used to give these Sylvania students a head start in typing. You're going to keep your pinky finger on the A. Priscilla Langendurfer has been teaching and driving this mobile technology classroom for five years, instructing these students in the right way to type. She says many of them already have some knowledge of typing. I guess that's where the bad habits are coming from, too, is because they have, so many of them have computers at home now. But the bus makes learning the right way fun, and the kids seem excited about it. It's fun. And I grow up and need to learn, know how to type in my job. I could type really fast. And despite the constant repetition Miss Langendurfer faces, I say this six times a day, it's that enthusiasm from the kids that makes her job fun. A job she almost passed up. No, I didn't want to give up the security of driving a school bus because <laughs> I, had, I had a lot of years in and uh, I was afraid that this wouldn't last. I didn't know and I didn't want to give up my seniority and uh, so that makes, kind of makes me laugh when I look back. As part teacher, part bus driver, Ms. Langendurfer is using this mobile technology classroom as a vehicle to drive these kids to a better education. Todd Meany, Toledo 11, the News Channel. From those 32 computers, Sylvania City Schools now has 7,000 Chromebooks for students. For This Week in Toledo History, I'm Diane Woodring.